Hi everyone, uh, I'm back in Denmark. Uh, I'm home uh, in my garden with my with my girlfriend. Uh, very nice weather here. Uh, so uh, thank you very much for uh, for the question that you sent me on Instagram, and uh, I'm very uh, happy to uh, to answer them. So yes, let's jump to it. Okay, so the first question is: Do you have a basic tactic that you always want to play, or do you change uh, depending on your opponent? Um, I always look what uh, my opponent wants, and then uh, and then after I just try to make the, the everything that he doesn't want, and then yeah play play on that because I think I, I am a player that I can can do uh, everything and it's a good thing and it's a bad thing because sometimes my forehand can be good in one match and then it can be can be bad the next one and then same for for my backhand so if I focus on me then I have more chance that I can be frustrated. So I just try to to uh, focus mostly on what my opponent wants, and then just try to do the the opposite of, of what he wants. Okay, so when you analyze your opponent before the match, what do you focus on? Just like what what he wants to to do uh, after receive, or what he wants uh, after serve, and then I just do the opposite of what he wants. So this is what I'm I'm looking at. So this is a little bit more practice related, I think. Um, how do you gain confidence in your own technique? I, I try to uh, to film uh, and to look videos of uh, of my technique and see how how I improve. And then also by looking matches of uh, of myself, then I feel like I uh, a point of view that 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 uh, external external you know point of view. That, yeah, that you see that oh, finally I'm doing uh, this uh, better or I, could, I can improve uh, this better. And, yeah. and then if for example you want to improve forehand topspin, what do you do then? If you want to gain more confidence? If I get more, want to gain more confidence, then I just make multiple and and then I try to take video of the multiple with my phone and, and then after I look at it and then I have, yeah, I can have an external view of my phone. Are you taking part in any of the development of Andro products? Uh, no, I don't take any part of uh, of uh, Andro uh, product, uh, like for the for the development. But uh, it's something that I would like to do, and it would be fun actually to uh, to make your own blade or <laughs> to to uh, produce a rubber or something something like this. But I unfortunately I'm, I'm not doing doing so. So I guess there would be a few questions here about what you're actually playing with now. Uh, yes, I'm playing with uh, Simon Gozi uh, SL and uh, with two Razenter 53, forehand and backhand. Okay, so there's one of your followers said that he heard a few young players saying that they would not like to be professional because it's either too difficult or too much effort or not enough uh, reward. What do you think about that? Uh, I think they are right. <laughs> <laughs> I think the, the one part they are right because uh, uh, first of all, they need much more effort uh, than they think to be to become pro. So definitely, but in a, in a other part about the reward, I don't think uh, I agree because I think that uh, if you become a pro, then the reward can be can be very nice. Like you can have quite a decent life, and then also you can just have many experiences that uh, about world championship, about the Olympic games, and so, and. And uh, yeah, and the reward can be can be just to have really a, a nice life and life like a uh, nice experience. But uh, after, I agree that needs a lot, a lot, a lot of effort to and much more than what they think to to become a pro. And I think you, you know this is <laughs> true. Yeah. <laughs> so, what would your advice be to these young players having these thoughts? I th I think uh, to be honest, if they are passionate, then I think it will go alone. And it like uh, they will w work out and w work hard, and then they will uh, uh, search, you know, all the time to be better and etc. But after, if they are not really passionate, then I think they should just do it for fun. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Uh, so, when in your career or at what age did you realize you were going to live off table tennis? I think I realized uh, when I was 17 when I signed for uh, my first uh, professional club, you know, uh, and I think when I look at the, the professional players who were playing that, at that time in Pro A, then I realized that uh, it's something that I, w I want to do, 
uh, for a living. So yeah, this, that was the the time when I realized. So I think 17, 18, approximately. And what made you think that okay, now this is what I want to do? Like, what made you convinced to do that? I don't know. I think I saw what they achieved uh, in the in the life. I think it was uh, Thiago Montero, Shegun Toyola. What they achieved in their um, in uh, in their life, they had they have many Olympics. Uh, they have played multiple world, world championships. They have they have been many times uh, champion of their continent. And to see that they are settled in life and and just doing what they love and traveling and all around the world. And I I I think this is what I want I wanted to do. Okay. And did you like at any point in your career regret making that decision? No. No? No. Not any, <laughs> not any time. Okay, that's nice. Mm -hmm. um, so here's a question that's not about table tennis. Mm -hmm. uh, and I'm actually a little bit excited for this. Mm -hmm. um, who is your favorite singer? Mm, my favorite singer? I don't think I have a favorite singer. Uh, I just I just listen mostly uh, old school uh, uh, like soul music, you know. Yeah. Uh, I mean, we did hear you sing in the shower in your past uh, video. <laughs> Is that something that you usually do? Yeah, uh, yes. <laughs> I, I, was, that, right? I was I was singing in my in my, uh, in my uh, when I'm taking shower. Three songs, I think. I have a lot of uh, of uh, uh, music of him, mm -hmm. but I d I don't think he's my favorite. But it's what I have the most. But, but I s actually I listen to everything, but but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, what is in your physical workout programs? Before I was making a lot of uh, uh, fitness, uh, like heavy lifting, when I was uh, when I was kid. But then I uh, I stopped because I became too stiff uh, and I had some problem on the, in my hip. Uh, so actually, what I do since uh, now three years is a lot of um, intervals that I do in the hall, uh, like uh, rowing, uh, bicycle, assault bike, uh, and then uh, uh, combining this with some uh, CrossFit uh, exercise. Uh, and then after with uh, my uh, my physio, uh, he made program with me that I, uh, I should work on my uh, flexibility, mobility and uh, my stability. So I do a lot of uh, exercise like like this, yeah. But I don't believe so much on uh, heavy lifting for table tennis. Yeah, and I'm sure you're also going to post more videos about your physical yes. workout programs. I will. Yeah. Uh, so just to follow up to this, what is the exercise or the, the kind of thing that you hate to do the most? Uh, it's running. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I hate running. I think I'm a good runner, but I hate, hate, hate running. I, yeah, it's so boring. But you ran a lot before when you were young. Yeah, when I was young, I, I ran a lot because uh, I was not. Uh, I made a lot of stupid uh, <laughs> things when I was so kids. So it was punishment. So it was runs. punishment. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, one of your younger, one of a young table tennis player in Denmark asked you if, uh, if you played in the German league, uh, what team would you play for? I think I would play for Düsseldorf. I think. I think it's the best club uh, right now. I mean, they have won multiple German, German, uh, Championship and uh, multiple. Uh, uh, Champions League and also uh, Timo Boll has, has, have, has been here for I think uh, 17 years I think I'm not I'm not sure but I think yes is the is the best club and to practice and and to, uh, it's a nice city to live uh, to live in and yeah definitely this one okay. besides playing in Germany uh, would you consider playing in any other country yeah, there is many nice countries. Uh, well, I mean, like nice countries and also like good for table tennis. Like Pol Polish league is good and Russian league also is is good. So yeah, such such leagues there uh, is is nice to. I mean, there is good competition. Okay. Um, one person asks if um, uh, he's saying nobody believed in Shang Shi before he got champion. What is your idea about that? Uh, f this is true actually. When he was uh, young, he had some troubles, uh, you know, in, in China. With, uh, but uh, yeah, what I think about Zhang Zhike is that he he changed the game. Now uh, everybody now is coming with uh, like backhand flick uh, 
and it's not that he, he invented it, but I think he hype, hyped it, you know, mm -hmm. and uh, and now everybody uh, is doing so, and I think it's because of him. So, so yeah, nobody believed in him, but he ca came with one system, also one uh, like technique that is really like his, you know, he's mm -hmm. not the perfect player, but yeah, it's he he made it through and he won uh, yeah, Olympics, everything. He has the one of the best um, records in, uh, ever. So yeah, I think yeah, you have an idea of what I think <laughs> about him now. <laughs> okay, um, when are you going to break into World Top 50? Yeah, this is a good question. <laughs> but uh, yes, this is my next goal actually. Yes, a year ago it was top 100. Now I'm 70. So I hope that. Uh, that uh, I will be uh, top 50 very soon, but COVID, COVID stopped me uh, on my way to top 50. But yeah, I'm, I'm waiting for for the new tournament to, to start, and I hope that I will I will do I will do so. Okay, um, and then there's the final question, and I've actually saved it for the last because I'm very curious. Mm -hmm. um, what is the most awesome thing about your girlfriend? No, I, I have to answer that right. <laughs> yeah, you have to. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I can say you, but you are um, a hardworking person, so this this is good, and that I I can go to tournament, and I know that I don't need to be worried about do uh, you, uh, and I know that you will just do your own business and, and stuff, and you you also very good at um, very successful at school and career minded, so I think this is a good thing that I attract me and that I appreciate. So, okay. yes. Nice to hear. Uh, uh, then I would like you to finish off uh, telling all the viewers here uh, mm -hmm. a fun fact about yourself. A fun fact about myself. Mm. And if uh, it's not fun enough, then I will tell one. <laughs> <laughs> a funny fun fact about myself. <laughs> uh, I don't have any. If you have one, you. <laughs> I think you have a problem with hot chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> Why I have a problem with hot chocolate? I think you drink so much hot chocolate. Yes. For a person like 28 years old. Right? <laughs> okay, I have never drink I have ever drink coffee. Never, never, never drink coffee in my life. And I will never and I will never do it. So, yeah. yeah. But I think that's any, a bit of a problem. And, and, and if I have a hot chocolate, it has to be with milk. Yeah. <laughs> if there is no milk, it's not it's not a hot chocolate. <laughs> Okay. Um, yeah, I think that was it. Yes. Thank you very much for all the questions that uh, that you sent. Uh, it means a lot to me that you want to know my opinion about many many topics in uh, in table tennis. Uh, so yes, I'm very very uh, happy for that. Um, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Yes. See you. Bye.